What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So today we have something in special in store. We, uh, we actually have our first lift kit that we're gonna install here in the DK shop. Right here we have a 2017 Jeep JK. It's very bare bones. The only modifications that are done to it are the sidestep and this cattle pusher looking push bar on the front. Um, it's a little over the top, but I mean, it's not bad looking. Um, other than that, everything is very bone stock for this. Um, I'm gonna grab a tape measure and I'm gonna show you the stock ride height and then I'm gonna give you a little overview of the kit that we have to install yet. But the wheels and tires are not in yet so it's gonna get lifted on the stock rims and tires but those are on the way out because stock rims and tires with the lift just don't look that great. So those are on the way, should be delivered by the end of the day so hopefully that we can see this whole thing actually in its finished product but as of right now we're gonna get to going on this lift kit and we'll uh, show you the end result all right so the top of our bumper is or the top of our front fender flare is looking to be about 35 and a half to the bottom of this trim here tj you want to go see the back my lovely assistant eat your heart out vanna white <laughs> and that's about 36 so the rear end is a little bit higher um it, it's typical for trucks because the tow hitch and whatnot you want the back end so that when you have a uh, you want the back end higher so that when you have a load it just squats down and it rides level Aye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen so this is the lift kit that we have this lift kit is very bare bones very minimal what you need to lift this vehicle and get it on the road in one day and this is a very straightforward uh, you could probably do this in your driveway. It's not a terribly uh, intricate system. However, it does have awesome results. So I did a very similar lift like this on my 97 Wrangler, which actually I'll go show you right now. All right, so we are here in the uh, smaller shop of our new shop. It's, it's kind of a compound here, but uh, let me get my light because lighting is terrible. But this is my 97 Jeep Wrangler. You've seen it before. And this has a two and a half inch lift. And it is just, now I have the, um, right there, you can see my shadow. I have the quick disconnect for the sway bar, but you see I have similar shocks and springs. And that's all my kit had. I didn't have to put uh, uh, brake line relocators or anything. But it's basically the same thing on this Jeep as it is on that. And I don't have a stock Jeep to compare it to, but it, it looks pretty good. Um, definitely filled out the Jeep more, makes it look way more off-road and aggressive. So I'm excited to see how the new Jeep looks. Right now, this Jeep is the same height as the other one. So, and that's the same size tire as it has right now. So this is basically the same height as the 2017. So we'll get over to the big shop and get that all started and figured out and uh, get this thing rolling. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost So guys, we got the Jeep Up on the jacks already Boss man's working on his side Brandon's doing his side, you know um, Passenger side, obviously Driver's side We got the front tires off We're gonna get all that squared away Taken care of and then we're gonna move on to the back, but shouldn't seem, it doesn't seem too bad. Uh, we have the PDF pulled up on my laptop. So if we have questions, we're just gonna, you know, look at it, but doesn't seem too, too uh, awful complicated. It has about 10 steps to it. So hopefully we can bang it out in a couple hours and have it looking good for you, so. Feeling great, popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we've been working here for about a half hour uh, Bossman and I have been getting at it and We got the first spring out, the new spring is in on this side But this is the difference, so the bottoms line up here 
that's a good, I'd say about two inches in just the spring. Now, that's just for the front end, and you can see how much farther that axle was pushed down here to there. I don't know how well the camera will get that, but I'm sure you'll be able to see it on the time lapse. We, uh, we had to use Boss Man's whole entire weight to stand on it to push it down, because that's, now that's what Rough Country's saying to do before I've taken all the linkage off and dropped the whole axle so that it's not connected by anything other than the control arms. But we're gonna try it how they say to do it. I'm, I could be right, I could be wrong, but. Turn flies into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're here. We have the springs in, they're all good to go, I showed you. We are getting ready to put the shocks in. However, they gave us two different kinds of bushings, which I know probably makes sense to a lot of you, but for us, we're just kind of having a brain fart. So I thought, why not bring in my Jeep? Because it has the exact same shocks and coils. It's basically the same exact kit, but this is for an older style, and it doesn't have the relocation brackets that this newer one needs. But, so we found out what kind of bushings, or how the bushing style goes on this one, and we're just gonna mimic it on here. So, that's why you see the Jeeps, and plus, it's kind of a Jeep garage. I, we kind of have a thing for them around here, so. That's why you'll see this Jeep in the background. It's um, not getting worked on, surprisingly. I mean, Jeep does stand for Just Empty Every Pocket. I'm up again. I got tired. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Assault air. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> is your Jeep even spotted, dude? What? This is uh, the summertime vibes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Bro, bro, you gotta stop. Hold on. Let me let me fix this. You're not you without caffeine. <laughs> oh, that's better. I just need a cup of blend. That's right. In the AM, that's my only friend. No light. Just the sun coming up on the horizon. I lose track of time. Yeah, I move fast and climb. A new class divine. Yeah, true passion shines. And I'm through passing time. I choose stacking dimes. You snooze half the time while I move passing by. Uh. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so after uh, uh, how many hours have we been working on this? Three, three and a half. About three and a half hours. Our first official lift is on. Now, it's still up on jack stands. You can't really get a good look for it, but that's because we are going to leave now and go pick up the wheels and tires because they didn't get delivered. They, um, they're at the, uh, the warehouse, so we're going to go pick those up, take a little family trip in the Caddy Max. Um, but, so... Kit is on, everything's bolted on. Um, hopefully nothing falls apart while we're gone. So we're back from our little adventure. We got the wheels and tires back here in the shop in the Caddy Max. And it's, <laughs> wow. So here's the old tire next to the new tire. 
That is a 31 inch tire, 35. Now that's 20 inch rim, that's a 17 inch rim. That is 12 wide. This is, I'd say about 10, 10 inch wide. And it's, you, you gotta think you're four inches taller. I mean. We're gonna go ahead and get those put on here real quick and take it for a test drive. So we'll be right back. Bam! That's the finished product, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go take her on a test drive and actually do an estimate in it. But 35 inch tires with three and a half inch lifts and uh, it's, uh, it's about my height, so. Hey, my lovely assistant, where's that tape measure? I gave it back to him, it's in his truck. Can you get it for me, please? You got two legs that ain't broke. Right there. I said lovely assistant. You're the assistant. No, I'm comedy. Yeah, then how come you ain't funny? All right, so our front end. God, it's the tires stick out just a little bit, so it's hard. We're at about 42-ish. 42 and a half. 42 and a half, depending on how you look at it in the front. And the rear, about 41. So we actually have the front end's a little bit higher than the back end. Now, with suspension, sometimes it doesn't settle the correct way until you drive it. So that might change ever, ever so slightly, but that's about how it's gonna look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's gonna do it for us. Everything is lit, installed and good to go. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.